We're back in Tokyo, and today we will take you to one of the best affordable sushi omakase spots. If you're on a budget, lunch is the way to go. Prices for lunch start at 4,235 yen, which is about $33. To get this lunch option, you would have to arrive early and wait in line. The only meal option you can get with signing up online is the upgraded omakase for 7,700 yen, which is about $60. The dinner option is also a bargain for 8,470 yen, and that comes out to $65. The first course started out with a shot of dashi of shimiji clam. It had a very clean seafood taste. It was a great way to start out the course on a cold day. This is Japanese amberjack called buri. It's a type of yellowtail and it tasted phenomenal. Next is seaweed with ponzu. The texture of this was viscous and extremely slimy. Michael's not a fan of it, but the ponzu was so good, I kept going back for more. Like a loogie texture. <laughs> then we had the Ayori squid. We washed and painstakingly massage and cut this into a blunt porcupine for optimal texture and mouthfeel. Maybe porcupine isn't the first thing you think about in terms of a perfect mouthfeel, but this was pretty darn good. The chawanmushi was topped with ume, which are salted plums. It lent in a nice sweet tartness to the silky and light egg custard, and the dashi they used added an amazing hit of umami. Oh, it's like a plum. Yeah. Damn, so good. Oh. Let's see. The sea bass was lightly charred with a torch, which gave it a nice smokiness to the fish. The texture of the fish was actually a bit more chewy and sinewy than I would have liked, but hey, maybe it's not my cup of tea, but it could be yours. The abalone was one of Michael's favorite dishes, so much so that he still talks about it. The abalone meat was braised to perfection and was very easy to eat, as sometimes it can actually be really tough and chewy. It was served alongside its liver, and I was not a big fan of it because I just don't like liver in general, but this one was especially funky. <laughs> Look at this super delicious, lightly seared toro with pickled garlic. Oh my god, just literally melts in your mouth. Is this a karami or something? <laughs> Mackerel is one of my favorite fishes, and I enjoy it both raw and cooked. I know some people think it's too fishy, but that was not the case with this one. It was soft, and the skin was super fatty and delicious. Good. I didn't expect to like it. Oh, the fattiness too. But it the skin's really fatty. Then we had pickled burdock root with sesame seeds as a palate cleanser. It had a nice sweet and tart flavor with a crunchy but chewy bite. The sesame seeds also added a nice nuttiness at the end. It's kind of like a cigarette. Oh, okay. Kind of like a cigarette. Mm, very ginseng -y. This is my first time having this particular kind of shrimp. The sweet shrimp we get in America are the spot prawns. This glass shrimp from Toyama had a very similar taste, but it's not as plump as we're used to. It was interesting the way they cut the shrimp to add to the overall texture. Little scallop sandwich. Mm. Scallops were fat and had a nice sear. They gave us each a piece of nori to wrap it for maximum umami flavor. One of my favorite cuts of fish is this beautiful piece of chutoro. The soy glaze really enhanced the shine on the fish and it's so beautiful on the plate. I almost didn't want to eat it. It's not as marbled and fatty as toro, but it still had an amazing smooth finish. I don't really like toro that much. It tastes like it looks. It was so marble. Like smooth? Huh. Yeah. Oh, it tastes like it looks. Juliet's favorite. Black hog. Miso black hog. Mm -hmm. Nice charred piece. And 
it's sad to say the black cod was actually our least favorite dish here, which is unfortunate because it's one of my favorite things to eat. It was a weird cut of the fish because it had a ton of bones. We actually ended up not even finishing it. I don't know. It's supposed to be miso glaze, maybe? But it doesn't taste very... It tastes more salty than anything. Really? It tastes like steamy. Otoro is always one of the highlights of any omakase. The otoro is the fattiest part of the tuna belly and it's just amazing how it melts in your mouth. This was no exception. <laughs> Oops. You really can't go wrong with something as simple as rice topped with ikura. Here, they mix some kelp and ponzu for added tartness. The ikura tasted just like little balls of soup that burst in your mouth. It was so good. <laughs> we love uni so much, we were extremely excited to see this come up. Not only did we get just one, but we got two types. One was from Hokkaido, and the other was from Aomori. The Aomori uni was a lot creamier, and the Hokkaido one was sweet and creamy. A little mild, but creamy. Yeah. Hints of sweetness to it. But Santa Barbara is better or no? Santa Barbara is sweeter. Yeah, it is right. It was cool to be able to eat them side by side for comparison. It's like one more. And we really appreciated that the chef stacked them up high like flapjacks. Most people probably eat the whole thing at once, but we like to pick off a few pieces at the top first so we can savor it for at least two bites. Now that's the jam right there. Mm. This one's way sweeter than the other one. The other one's a lot more mellow mm -hmm. creamy. Mm. Ankimo, my favorite. I have a lot of this. Wow, look how soft and tender this is. Oh, mm. wow, just like one whole piece of cut. It's like super warm. Mm. Mm. It's warm? It's so warm. Delicious. Oh, good. Oishi. Probably one of the best ones I've ever had. I'm gonna have mine. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. So bad. Toro bad. Uh. 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 Thank you. Ooh, a little rush. Thank you. 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 Thank by the time this shijimi clam soup came out, we were pretty full. I had no idea we were getting 20 courses, but it was nice to have something to wash down all the food we just had. This was filled to the brim by a million baby clams, so you can imagine how packed with flavor this was. The soup's really good. It's all work to get the little, little clams. Yeah. It's not I don't think you need to. Seasonal pickled gourd was something we've never had before, but it had such an interesting bite. It was just a little sweet and it just burst with flavor. <laughs> It's like gourd. Gourd. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Finally, to dessert was Kyoho grapes. I know it doesn't look like much, but fruits in Japan are out of control. You peel the skin, and the flesh tastes like grape gummy candies. It was magnificent end to the meal. Mm. Wow, that's the best. That's the best food. Ever. <laughs> it tastes like a jelly or a candy. Oh, two two months ago it was even better. Really? <laughs> Maybe I should just peel it. Mm. Bro. Bro. 
was so glad. That's great. Can you see how veiny it is? Like, I just can't really tell. Man, my guess this is the best. I can't believe that was 23 courses. What did you think? Would you come here? Anyway, if you haven't already, we'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. We like to travel, we like to eat and do fun things. So if you're into that kind of content, consider subscribing. Thanks and see you soon.